Hey Cultivator, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to break down a really popular question I get as a former recruiter turned career coach. And that is, Emily, when do I follow up on my application? And how do I follow up on my application so I don't come off as desperate or clingy? And at the same time, I make sure that I'm not being lost in this black hole of ATS. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to break down the best practices on when and how it's most appropriate to follow up. what I want to say is that companies love proactive job seekers, meaning these are the job seekers who really go out of their way to introduce themselves and follow up asking if there's any additional information that they can provide. But there's a couple caveats to this. So one is that the job description doesn't stay anywhere do not contact the job poster. Um, the reason being is you want to make sure that you follow instructions and you demonstrate that you know how to read and follow instructions. Um, but the second part to this is you want to make sure that you are being as articulate as possible. You're making sure that your T's are crossed, your I's are dotted, and you have the best application possible and you're actually a great fit for the role. Because if you are actually qualified qualified for the role, you're doing the hiring manager and the recruiter a huge favor by becoming visible. So I'm going to be talking to you, if you fit that category, what you can do to ensure that your application is being read. All right, so those of you in my job search programs already know that I'm a huge favor of following up quite immediately after you've put in your application. And the whole reason being is because one, you wanna become visible, two, you wanna build a connection and rapport with the person that is eventually going to be conducting the phone interview or the interview itself. So the way that you do this is you find the right person to connect with, depending on what's appropriate, whether it's the hiring manager, the talent acquisition team, or the recruiter, and you send a simple message such as the following. Hi Georgina, I hope you don't mind me reaching out as I just applied to the product manager role listed on your company's website. I'm very excited about Fitbit, having now been a badge collector for the past two years. I know Fitbit's goal is to acquire more customers globally and with the rise of other competitors entering the market, the company needs to create innovative features and products. I'd love to showcase how I've been able to increase a 300% growth in customer acquisition through development of a simple yet highly engaging strategy on a similar hardware device. Please let me know if I can provide any additional information to my application. All the best, Emily. So in a nutshell, you really want to build rapport. You want to demonstrate your positioning and really share on a substantive level. You know what this organization does and what their current challenges are. So that way, in this quick message, as you can see, this is only a paragraph, you're able to really connect and position yourself as a person that they should be taking a look at and at the very least have an interview with. Whenever somebody gets this message, their natural inclination is going to be Hmm, I wonder who sent me this message. Let me take a look at their application. <laughs> Let me read their resume or look at their LinkedIn profile. And really your LinkedIn profile is going to be a temporary resume in place. This is so powerful. When my clients use this and they send it to the right person with the right messaging and they have all of the right personal branding in place, it's like this, they get interviews quite immediately, some of them the same day, if not the next day. So it is really powerful because you really just wanna make sure that you're becoming visible in this process. It's the only way you can get called in for a phone interview, right? You could apply online, but if your resume is actually never being read or seen, you can't actually be called in for the interview and the interview is what's gonna get you the offer. By the way, let me know in the comment box down below if you would like to see a video on how to know who to reach out to and how to find their email addresses. 
So there you have it. Whenever you are applying online, you just really want to make sure that you're being visible and seen. I always recommend following up on your application quite immediately to just get in front of a human being versus an applicant tracking system or technology system that is weeding you out. Uh, the more you can become visible to your dream employers, the more you're going to be able to get chances and higher opportunities to have interviews. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when I release this video next week. Until then, I hope that you continue to cultivate your life and your career. Take care.